Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, this is Making It Happen with Mary and I am Mary. Y'all, get you a drink, get you a snack, because it's going to be a long one, y'all. It's a long one. I'm, we are doing, finally, you guys have been asking me and asking me and asking me. And finally today, we are doing my official review and comparison on Calypso Clementine. Yes, I just got to say, I am digging this bottle. She matches me today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yes, I did do that on purpose, y'all, because I know you love it. The, there are ones, some of y'all out there actually notice that shit when I'll do my comparison videos, and I'll try to dress to match the product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little something extra I do every once in a while. It makes me feel perky and pretty and hell. Why the hell not, right? So, Calypso Clementine. I do have both the body lotion and the body spray. She is gorgeous. Scent notes are Juicy Clementine, Neroli Nectar, and Coastal Woods. I have had this now for a few days, for about three or four days, and I've been wearing the shit out of her because I really wanted to get a read on her and determine, is this a repackage? Is this new? Is it similar to other scents? And because I waited to put out this video, number one, because I wasn't paying full price for this shit. It wasn't happening. And number two, I've now gotten an opportunity to see a lot of reviews and comparisons out there all over social media, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, everywhere. And uh, I can lay a lot of this shit to rest, baby, because I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be real with you. All right. Scent notes, Clementine, Neroli, and Coastal Woods. Yes, baby. The Clementine in here is so freaking well done. Like, she is gorgeous. Oh, my God. And the, the Neroli is just, like, hanging out in the background, which sweetens it up a little bit. I am a huge fan of Neroli scents. I love them. I'm not really getting Coastal Woods, which is a good thing. Very much a good thing because I think the woodiness note would have would have drowned out that clementine. And the clementine in this is gorgeous, y'all. Very fresh, very vibrant, very juicy. Instant pick-me-up. Now, I did spray some on my hand about a half hour ago, so it's had time to sit and settle on my skin. And I am very pleased to say the clementine note is still there. She did not fade like that. She's still heavy and present. I still do not pick up any woods. I still get the Neroli in there. Oh my God. She's so good. I really do like this one, y'all. Like for real, for real. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I sure as hell ain't gonna pay no damn 18, 19 dollars for this shit though. That ain't happening. Wait for the sale, girl. Wait for the sale. Yes, I love this scent. It is so uplifting. It literally smells to me, my son, Anthony, who is almost 11 now. Oh, my God. He's a huge fan of the Clementines, the cuties. And uh, whenever he eats the, them, I now think of this all the time. Because this that kid will eat a damn bag in almost a day. It's ridiculous. Oh, my God. It's so good. It's so good. But... Let's get into the comparisons, because I know that's why y'all are here. I know that's why you're here. The uh, Y'all, I heard this, and I saw it on TikTok, and I saw it on YouTube. People were comparing it to one by Sol Janeiro, which is bikini season. Yep. I want to say this one came out in their summer collection last summer, I think. It was limited edition. Uh, scent notes on this are... Sunlit Orchid and Guava Nectar. I don't know if they have any other notes on here yet. Oh, it says Coconut Water, Pink Musk, A Twist of Lemon, and Guava Nectar. But I have heard this quite a bit. No. I'm just going to answer you right. No. No. The Guava in here is very heavy, along with that Coconut Water note. I'm not getting really any lemon from this. Um, they say there's a musk in here as well as orchid. If there's orchid in here, it is way in the background. This is mostly guava, 
coconut water, and a little bit of a little bit of musk and orchid. I would say the musk and orchid is way in the back, followed by coconut water, and then up front is that guava. She good. I ain't gonna lie. She good. Damn, baby, I missed you. See, I definitely got some use out of her last summer. I'm being sparing with her, though, because I'll probably never see her again. In comparison to Clementine Calypso, or I keep calling it that. It's Calypso Clementine. And compared to the, no. This is nowhere near as juicy and bright as Calypso Clementine. Nowhere near. They're not even in the same ballpark. Nowhere near. Nowhere near. Another one that I saw... On every platform, Instagram, TikTok, uh, YouTube, I saw it on here. They were legit saying that it was sparkling orange spritz. Yes, this is the one that came out in those pretty straws that came out in last summer's Bath and Body Works release. Um, I love this scent, but I know without even smelling it. Bye-bye. Scent notes are sun-kissed mandarin, bubbly prosecco, and citrus soda. No, no. This is more along the lines of orange pop, like orange Fanta pop, and I dig it. Even though this lists notes of mandarin, to my nose, it's definitely more orange than mandarin. Yes, uh, whereas this has that beautiful clementine, this is definitely more soda pop. Uh, and has that bubbly, like, Prosecco in there that gives it, like, that effervescent type of a, a zing, like orange pop. This is not that. This is, like, zesty citrus tangerine. Oh, my God, it's so good. And this is good, too. However, it is orange pop, baby. And orange pop is not the same as bright clementine. It's just not the same. It's not. They're both citrusy scents. But they're not the same. So quit saying that shit. The next one that I did see, and I really had to thought, you know, stop and give pause to this. And I wanted to do a comparison so bad because I've seen quite a few people saying that this was an exact, exact repackage of Fresh Getaway. Yep, Fresh Getaway. She came out in 2021. She had scent notes of citruses, yuzu, which is another citrus, and mountain air. Now, y'all, no, no. The, the, the yuzu in here, which is somewhat similar to bergamot, is very heavy. Along with like fresh air aquatic elements that are in the background, there ain't nothing like that in here. This is bright, beautiful clementine. This is not. Clementine and yuzu bergamot are very, very different. They're completely different scents. I love me some fresh getaway. Don't get it twisted. But they are not the same thing. So I, I, I want to lay that one to rest. They are definitely not the same. Not even close in ways. Because... Bergamot has a very fresh type of citrus. It's uh, more like a, a zing, but it's not, it's definitely way different than grapefruit, orange, clementine. All of those type of citruses, even lemon has a very distinct, they have very distinct scents. Yuzu and bergamot are bright and zesty, like how citruses are, but they're they're like clean citrus. It's a very clean, almost comes across as like fresh air citrus, if that makes any sense to you. And that's exactly what Fresh Getaway is. It's not this. It's definitely not that. Yeah, no, 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 ma'am. No, no. Very, very, very different. The clementine in here is so freaking heavy. It is nothing like this. Absolutely not. So you can lay that one to rest. I know a lot of you are hoping it could possibly be a dupe to Fresh Getaway. Because Fresh Getaway was good, y'all. She was good. But this ain't it, sis. This ain't it. Another one. I got a lot today with comparisons. Because I had some time to compile some shit. And uh, another one I saw 
it was being uh, thought of that it could be very, very similar to Orange Vanilla Dream. Who remembers this from the Fun Fair collection? That really weird year where we got like pieces and parts, but no full sets of anything. It was the Bubblegum Pop, the, the Sugar Cinnamon Donut, that collection. You guys remember that collection? Where we had like two out of three for every set. They, there was no complete set for any of them. Like we never did get the Bubblegum Pop lotion. We just had the shower gel and the spray. With this one, we had the spray and the lotion, but no shower gel. And with the warm sh cinnamon sugar donut, we had the shower gel and the lotion, but no spray. It was the oddest freaking thing I've ever seen. I hope they don't ever do that kind of shit again because people were pissed. But Orange Vanilla Twist is uh, Juicy Orange, Summer Sherbet, and Vanilla Cream. No, baby, no. This is legit, like, orange sherbet with vanilla ice cream. There, There is no... Like, a, it reminds me of a push-up pop. Remember the push-up pops, the little toilet paper tubes we used to eat out of as a kid? That's what this smells like. Oh, she good, though. She good. <laughs> Hello, I remember you. I ain't smelled you in a hot minute, babe. What you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah. She is banging, man. Like, banging, baby. Uh, But it ain't nothing like Calypso Clementine. No, this is citrusy and bright. And this is gourmand orange sherbet vanilla ice cream all day long. All day long. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day, baby. All day long. You want to hear a weird... I, I want to talk about one really weird comparison I saw. Like, I did one of those eye twitches when I saw it because I'm like, what? What? Y'all, I am not even lying when I say this. I saw it compared to Hibiscus Paradise. Yes? Hibiscus Paradise, I was kind of like, eh? Eh? This is one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body. Every time I wear it, I am forever reminded of Cozumel, Mexico. Forever, because I wore it like the entire time we were in Cozumel and Playa de Carmen. Scent notes are pink hibiscus, juicy guava, and sun-kissed coconut. I love this scent, <laughs> but to compare it to this, no. Hell no. Hell, hell no. No. This, again, is bright citrus clementine. This, you most definitely get the hibiscus in here. You do pick up notes of guava, but they're way in the background. This is predominantly hibiscus and coconut, and it's gorgeous. It is Gorgeous. I love this scent, but it is nothing like this. Nothing. No, not even in the dry down. They're not even comparable. I don't know why in the hell this person was telling people this because if you bought this thinking it was going to be this, you about to be seriously disappointed, honey. They are nothing alike. Nothing. Nothing. Now the last one. This one, I paused for the cause and had to really, really think about it. And it's Bombshell Sun Drenched by Victoria's Secret. I love this scent. She came out not last summer, because last summer is Bombshell Isle. It was the summer before. So summer of 22, we saw Bombshell Sun Drenched. She had scent notes of Peony, Guava Blossom, and Sand. No. And I do that with a, in a good face, y'all. That wasn't a bad face. That wasn't like the skunk face from that one from Victoria's Secret. That was definitely like the same along the... But this is like... Oh, love it. Yes, yes, yes. This is such a beautiful summertime scent. Like, she is gorgeous. The peony is way in the background, thankfully. Mostly what you get is guava blossom with this warm, what they call sand, but to me is like a warm amber note that's mixed in. And there is notes of clementine in this. I will say that. Even though they don't list it, there are definitely notes of clementine in this. But this is such a warmer, deeper, sexy clementine guava. 
and this is not, this is bright and beautiful and bubbly and zesty and hello. This is more like, you know what I mean? This would be like great for summertime date night. This I'd be rocking all day long in the summertime. 100% hands down. But this would be more like date night scent. So there is a definite difference. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, they're, they, they probably would pair beautifully together. Just saying, just saying. A lot of these would probably pair beautifully together, to be really honest. But this, she's not a repackage, y'all. She is original OG. I do not know any other scent Bath & Body Works has ever done that smells like this. Oh, yes! Yeah, she's gorgeous, show. She's gorgeous. I definitely highly recommend this one. Perfect for spring, even for now. In February, this is a perfect scent because it's very uplifting. It's bright and bubbly. It gets you out of the winter funk. Like we're dying desperately for warm summer weather. And this will make you feel it, honey. This would be great for spring break. I'm just going to say. Yes. Oh, yes, baby. Yeah, I'm definitely super, super glad to have this in my collection. Highly recommend. Five out of five stars for me. Uh, did you get your hands on Calypso Clementine finally? What did you think? What did you think of all these comparisons? Because there's been a ton of them out there, y'all. A ton of them, ton of them. What did you think? Or do you think there's another one out there that maybe I just didn't mention that really does smell like this? Definitely hit your girl up. Let me know in the comments below. And uh, y'all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, and ding the bell. So you every single time your girl uploads. And uh, I will see you in the next one. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.